Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about a band with a small catalog, but they've sure made an impact in my life. And they are a trio of American musicians, uh, Keith Klingen Smith, Andy Reid, and Chris Richards. And they go by the name of the legal matters. Now, why do the legal matters matter so much to me? Well, because let's be honest, I was going through a pretty rough patch in 2014. Relationships ended. I felt like a lot of friends had abandoned me and music was always there and always spoke to me in many different ways on many different levels. And when I heard this album, self-titled that came out in 2014 i was just filled with feelings of melancholy but i but i was also strangely feeling nostalgic because it was music that i felt that i had known all my life and it just reappeared uh, out of nowhere and it was just truly an amazing pop album uh, what does it sound like it sounds like you know little bits and pieces of you know anyone from matthew sweet to big star to jellyfish to a little bit of the beatles but it's very american not americana because it's just great just chimey glorious wonderful pop uh this debut album has loads of great tracks and i connected to it i remember driving from uh, las vegas to orange county uh late at night uh the roads were dimly lit and this was playing loud uh and it it was just so moving and so wonderful and it became uh, and remains one of my favorite albums of the last 20 years or so came out 2014 legal matters now uh it, they originally put it out themselves and then uh, gem records picked it up for a distribution so it got a wider distribution you should be able to find that it's just self-titled legal matters it's so full of wonderfulness the thing about this band is they don't just concentrate on great songwriting they concentrate on mood they concentrate on harmonies they concentrate on atmosphere sometimes there's a empty spaces in their songs uh, but they do that purposely because it allows your imagination to roam through the song and uh, hold it and hug it and embrace it for all it's worth now they got such great press for that they signed with omnivore records and in 2016 they released their second album called conrad this is a very very fine platter it doesn't quite reach the level of the first album, although it is still great. So full of songs. The harmonies are even stronger on this album, believe it or not. So that adds so much sweetness to it. And they actually digitally released a separate version of the album with just vocals. And oh my gosh, you're going to melt with that one. Now, I'm not dissing this album at all. I love this album. But it's kind of like saying if that album is a 10, this album's a 9.5. It's not far behind, I'll tell you. Now, Chris Richards uh, also worked, you know, he, he had his own band, Chris Richards and the Subtractions. Uh, Keith Cunningham Smith runs Future Man Records. And Andy Reid, he runs his own studio. And uh, so they've been very busy. They're in the midst of planning and recording their third album called Chapter 3 when the pandemic hit. So it took a little bit longer, but here we have it. It is brand new. It comes out April of 2021. This is the Legal Matters, Chapter 3, it's the third album, and it's much closer to the atmosphere of the first record. So it's got that same type of feel. Here's the songs here, and just because I got approval, uh, I am going to feature about a two and a half, three minute medley at the end of this video. So you can hear highlights from six of the tracks from this album, because uh, I want you to hear it, and I want you to feel it, and I want you to buy it. So this is the brand new Legal Matters album called Chapter 3. And Conrad came before that, and of course the self-titled album. And uh, they are truly a fantastic band, a magical band, a wonderful band. All three of them use their talents in other projects and stuff, and when they come together, it's really something special. Definitely check out The Legal Matters when you get a chance. Remember, Chapter 3 is available now, and you're just about to hear a little medley I threw together just for you, right here on CD Junkie. Yesterday, the sun is 
For this episode of CD Junkie, I appreciate you letting me talk about uh, the legal matters, and I hope you enjoyed the little medley I put together of tracks from their brand new album, Chapter 3, available in April of 2021. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.